Chill Out, The Story of Air Conditioning. Keeping Cool in History. It's hot. The sun is baking you as you walk down the street. Sweat rolls off your forehead and drips into your eyes. Your shirt sticks to your back. You get to the movie theater and pull open the door. A blast of cold air strikes your face. You spend the next hours in comfort, thanks to air conditioning. A little more than a hundred years ago, people had no such relief. The history of air conditioning is short. Hand fans were used to keep cool. Since time began, people have tried to keep cool. They have figured out clever ways to beat the heat. The first humans looked for shady caves. In India, Greece, and Egypt, people hung wet mats indoors to make the air feel cooler. In the Middle East, people built towers on their roofs to catch breezes. In the Americas, ice blocks were shipped to hot places. Later, people built houses with shady porches. They had small roofs over the windows to keep out the hot sun. Cool breezes can travel down the towers. <clears throat> Dr. Gorey gets an idea. In the early 1800s, towns were starting along Florida's Atlantic coast. Supplies came on sailing ships. The ships also brought sailors. Often they were sick with malaria and yellow fever. In Florida's hot summers, Dr. John Gorey saw many sick people. He tried to cure their high fevers. He knew cooler air would help them. He set up fans to blow air over buckets of ice. The ice was also brought on the large ships. Ships like this one brought ice from the north to Florida. This is a model of Dr. Gorey's ice machine. Ice from the north was not cheap, and sometimes storms kept the ships from coming. Dr. Gorey needed a better way to get ice. He wondered if he could make it himself in the heat of Florida. Dr. Gorey was also an inventor and a scientist. He began to invent a cold air machine. By 1850, he had built a machine that made ice. It cooled the air of his hospital. He made a machine that lowered air temperature. Early designs for cooling. Over the next 50 years, many people tried to find ways to cool buildings. They knew that furnaces blew hot air through pipes in cold weather. They thought they could make cold air do the same. Most early cooling systems were in theaters. They blew air over racks of ice. Then the cool air went through openings in the floor. The refrigerator made today's air conditioning possible. Think about an air conditioned room. It is a lot like a large, a very large refrigerator. In 1902, Alfred Wolf started with what we know about refrigeration. He invented a way to cool the New York Stock Exchange for workers. Two years later, the 1904 World's Fair had an air-conditioned building for everyone to enjoy. 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis. The beginnings of air conditioning. The first modern air conditioning system was not invented for comfort. It was made to improve printing. On summer days, the changing moisture in the air made the paper swell or shrink. This changing paper size made it impossible to exactly line up printed colors. Willis Carrier was a young engineer in the early 1900s. He worked on the printing problem, trying out different ideas in his mind. Willis Carrier with his first cooling machine. Carrier's final idea came to him as he was waiting for a train. He thought of a way to use water sprays to control temperature and moisture. He went on to invent many kinds of cooling machines. 100 years later, air conditioning is still based on his ideas. Carrier is also known as the father of air conditioning.
the first indoor air conditioner was called the weather maker. The air conditioning industry. In 1906, Carrier got a patent for his first cooling machine. That was also the year in which the term air conditioning was first used. The interest in cooling machines grew rapidly. Again, theaters were the first buildings to use the new machines. In the 1920s, movies became very popular. Many new movie theaters were built. Theaters provide cool air on hot summer days. Early air conditioners used a gas that could catch fire easily. This was dangerous. In 1931, a gas was discovered that did not burn. This made air conditioning safer. Business owners noticed that cool air made offices and factories more comfortable for workers. They got more work done and stayed home less often. People soon wanted air conditioning in their homes. At first, only wealthy people could afford air conditioning. Soon, however, small and less expensive air conditioners were made. Keeping things cool. Refrigerators came before air conditioning. They were used to keep food cool in large buildings and homes. But how would food stay cool moving between places? Frederick Jones invented a way to keep trucks cool. His invention also kept, uh, kept train cars cool. This kept food from spoiling as it traveled from place to place. Air conditioning changes the country. In the 1930s, the demand for air conditioning slowed, and during World War II, people had little money to spend on extras. When the soldiers returned and started families, they needed new homes. There was a lot of land in the southern United States. People could build homes there. The southern states had hot climates. The heat had kept people from moving there. With air conditioning, people could live comfortably in hot places. There was a boom in the home sales in southern states. Cities like New Orleans grew because of air conditioning. Older southern homes had porches where people gathered and visited. Air conditioning also changed the way people spent their time. Before, southern homes were built with big porches. In warm weather, families sat out on the porch. They might share stories there or play games. Neighbors walking past stopped for a visit. Then new homes were built with air conditioning instead of porches. People could stay cooler inside. They spent less time talking together and more time watching television. The future challenge. The demand for air conditioning kept growing. By 1980, more than half of the homes in the United States had air conditioners. Air conditioning began to cause problems for the environment. Scientists discovered that the gas it used caused pollution. It made holes in Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere protects Earth from the sun's more harmful rays. A city without power. These days, we have safer air conditioning in homes and schools. We have it in motels and malls. We have it in cars and trains. We even have it in spacesuits. Air conditioning has spread all over the world. On hot summer days, cities sometimes do not have enough electricity run to run all the air conditioners. Then a city might lose all power at once. During these times, people look for ways to keep cool keeping cool on the moon. In 1969, American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked on the moon in suits with life support and cooling systems. Use these questions to answer the class discussion.